Hello, my name is Beverly Matthews. I'm a CalSAC trainer, lifelong learner, servant leader, and advocate for education for all ages and all learners. I'm here at the LA Film Kitchen to record the video, Who Are Multilingual Learners? One in three young people in ACES-funded out-of-school time programs are multilingual learners or students who have developed or are developing proficiency in both the English language and one or more other languages, which may be their home language. Multilingual learner students are all multifaceted group who needs depends on the type of multilingual learners they are. Today we'll explore a few classifications of the multilingual learners to better highlight the linguistic and academic characteristics of multilingual learner students. In this video, we will go over two main typologies recognized by the California Department of Education to better understand the needs of the over 1.1 million multilingual learner students in the state. First, we have newcomers, which refers to students who arrived in the United States recently, typically less than one year before enrolling in school. Newcomer students comprise roughly one quarter of all multilingual learners in California. Grappling with culture shock, newcomer students need special orientation and transitional classes. Their engagement and success in school is deeply impacted by the fact that they are often have little or no English language proficiency. Newcomers may arrive in the U.S. with varying levels of prior academic background, which impacts their academic and linguistic development. Some newcomers are considered students with interrupted formal education or SIF due to interruptions to their formal schooling, while others are considered highly educated newcomers due to high levels of literacy and strong academic backgrounds in their home language. The second typology we have is U.S. born or long-term residents, which refers to students born in the U.S or who have been in U.S. schools for six years or more but have not yet achieved English language proficiency. California secondary schools are experiencing a large and growing population of multilingual students still developing English language proficiency despite attending U.S. schools for years. This group comprised 75 percent of multilingual population in California. Many U.S. born or long-term resident multilingual students are orally fluent in English but struggle academically, reading and writing significantly below grade level. As we close, I encourage you to consider the multilingual learner students in your program. How do they fit in the two topologies?